Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this Lipert uh, power tongue jack on your trailer. So I purchased this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description where I bought it. But I bought this as well as a cover for it. And the reason I chose this one amongst all the other electric jacks is it got the best ratings hands down out of any other jack on Amazon. It got a 4.7 out of 5 uh, rating on over 2,000 reviews. Uh, the reason I'm doing this on our camper is because our manual hand crank jack finally broke. I've repaired it multiple times over the years and now the gears have actually ground down to where it's almost impossible to jack up the, the tongue jack. So we were faced with the decision of whether we replace it with a manual uh, tongue jack or an electric and since electric is what is going on pretty much all campers these days uh, We chose to go electric So I'll show you guys how to do the installation and then at the end of the video I'll show you guys all the tools I used for this project So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the trailer is hooked up to our tow vehicle To take the weight off of the old jack uh, You could also use jack stands and put them on the tongue, but you do not want to use your stabilizer Jacks. Those are really just meant to stabilize your trailer and not meant to hold any weight. Uh, now that we have all the weight off of the jack, we can then remove the three bolts that are holding it in. I'm going to use my impact driver with a 916 bit to go ahead and remove those. So now we got our new jack here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it feed it on through, there we go, we're going to line the holes up, now we did get some new bolts uh, with the kit here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some thread locker on these, I'm always a fan of using thread locker, I think it just really helps make sure that your uh, screws, bolts, whatever just don't come out. There we go, boom. Okay, so now we're gonna take these zip ties off. I'm gonna install some zip ties of my own on here to just make sure that the wire is nice and secure. I'm just gonna follow this on down and go back to the battery. Okay, so now that we have everything all zip tied up, uh, we are gonna use a ring connector, which did not come with the jack, to put on our wire here. And then we're just gonna crimp it. Uh, you could solder it if you want, or you could just crimp connect it, which is what I'm gonna do. So now that we got a ring connector on here, we can either choose to put it on the battery or we do have a little bus, uh, little hub bus connector, I guess you could call it, um, down here, which is what I'm gonna hook it up to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, hat on for the jack. All right guys, so here we go, moment of truth. Oh yeah, she's a going. Check it out. Smooth operator. Effortless. Don't have to worry about cranking this thing up and down in 100 degree weather. Very nice. Let's have a little light right here. A little LED. So I got everything all installed, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my cover on. What I like about this too, you can take your chains here, and then you can hook them on here, which helps keep the cover on, and then keeps your change up, up and off the ground. This one was on the ground, it was starting to rust out, so boom, there she is. All right guys, so the tools that you need for this project, pretty basic and simple. I use my impact driver with a 9 16th uh, 
sockets here, impact socket. I use uh, some wire cutters. I just use a little crimping end and I use that for my ring connector, which you will need to get. That did not come with the jack. And I did use a fixed wrench as well to get a, um, a nut off where I plugged the wire into. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up here for this installation video. Super easy install. You don't need a whole lot of tools or experience to do this. And I'm really looking forward to having this upgrade as well. So again, I'll put links in the description where you can find the jack and the cover on Amazon. I'll also put uh, some links here uh, to some other videos I do. I do a lot of DIY projects to our camper, uh, upgrades, things of that nature. So check out some of my other videos. Throw a like if you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.